Hello and welcome to Factorio Single Belt. I'm Cretio. In this episode we will see if we get this up to 100% and we are able to launch the rocket. Of course I don't know yet, but let's see. One thing I have discovered is that while waiting on this we are filling up two of those of the uh, things that we need and then the third one we have a problem with and then we get that filled up and we had, have problem with something else. And I think that's because of the amount. 20 is not good enough. It's only enough for two over there, two in the chest. Well, we have more than that, but two in the chest and then two more in the rocket silo. So it's only enough for uh, four rocket parts. And I want more than that. Uh, because when we need them, it will take a bit of time for the resources to get over here where, where we are constructing rocket parts. So let's see what we can do. And I think what we want to do is to change this to require 50 of each. With 50 we have a little bit more of a buffer. Oh, 50, 50 and 50. We have a bit more of a buffer, but we don't have, an, have a ridiculous amount of buffer. I think 50 is, is a great number, to be honest. A great number for this to, to work really well. But we have to see, of course. I don't know yet. Okay, so let's see. What are we currently doing? Solar panels? Uh, green circuits and copper cables and then the rocket stuff. Oh, and we are doing some copper as well. But copper isn't the big problem, I think. That Well, it, that, that is actually the big problem, the copper, but we are making a lot of it, so it should be fixed automatically. We don't have to do anything. How much do we have? 5.5k and when we have 5k this will turn on and we will get more uh, more petroleum gas from the light oil. Oh, it seems like the light oil that the uh, tanks for the light oil have filled up completely. Let's just see. When this starts, let's see if it's enough or if we need more chemical plants. Yeah, well, we have two oil refineries working but not all three of them are working yeah we do get we do get some uh, light oil that we can't do anything about so i guess this is the last process in this no okay are we really use oh yeah we are using the light oil for Solid fuel, that's right. I forgot about that. Maybe we should add some more solid fuel. Maybe we can't add some more solid fuel. Oh, we don't have a chemical plant. Well, we could add one more, but is it worth it? That's the question. Is it really worth it to add one more? And I would say yes, why not? First of all, first I thought no, it's definitely not worth it. But now I feel like yeah, why not? It doesn't cost us anything to do it, really. Well, a few seconds, but we have plenty of seconds to go. So all we need to do is connect the pipes. Let's see, we have that, we have that, and we have that. So this is not constructing. Why not? Why doesn't it construct solid fuel? We have plenty of light oil. Oh, um, because I placed this in the wrong location. Oops. Yeah, let's, let's do another solution. Let's put it over there. It's not the right spot, I know that, but never mind. We can oh, we can still run through, and we don't need to to move this uh, 
this setup we can keep that so this way we get a little bit more solid fuel being produced which means that we get a little bit more light oil being used which means that we will process more of the oil and we still have plenty of that right yeah we do no worries with that okay so how is everything right now well it's still the copper plates for the low density structures that is the problem and that is yeah still due to a copper cable and green circuits and i guess in some sense the the solar panels as well i just don't want to change the amount of solar panels we want in the store in the storage we want 650 and i think that's basically what we have in a blueprint so it's not it's not a good idea to change it i think But let's see what more. Oh, we need solid fuel, but that is being handled automatically. And then we have the uh, yeah the copper for the whatever they are called for the low density structure. So that's basically what we need, and everything is working towards that. Maybe we should go and grab a bit of copper. Hmm, is that a good idea or is that a really bad idea? Could be either one. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I mean, I know what I'm looking at, but I don't know what I'm searching for. Um, let's go and grab a bunch of copper. I think we have a lot of it. Oh, how is... Yeah, we still have plenty of... Uh, plenty of oil we don't need to add another oil stuff although we could and it's not a bad idea to do it 27 800 now we don't have enough copper i mean we do have a bit of it but not really enough to uh, get what we want so let's not grab copper from from over here or over here Let's just uh, wait for it. And I think in the meantime, since we are, since we don't, wait, what is this? Oh, that's fine. We don't have a uranium mine anywhere. But since we are running, well, we are not running low on oil, but since we don't have a train in the station, I think that we want, we might want to add a train and add a new train station. And we can do that while everything is being built. But where do we want to add it? Oh, 4099 or 456, definitely over here. So let's go. The problem with doing this is that we get, will get a bunch of other stuff uh, to start being produced. But I guess that's a thing we have to just accept. We have that, let's grab like a stack of that and a stack of that, well half a stack I guess. And then we need a few stations, ideally only one, but let's grab a few of them. Uh, anything else? Oh, we need big power poles. What we do? Oh, we have them over there. Okay, I thought we had a lot of them, so. But we need a bit more, I think. There we go, we need some lamps. There we go with that. Oh, we don't have enough lamps. Oh well, never mind. Let's get the production running with lamps. And now we go out and uh, see if we can figure out how to build a new train station. Which, honestly, it shouldn't be too hard. And I'm doing it mostly to have something to do while everything is being produced. And I don't know what will happen when we have uh, when we have enough green circuits and copper cable. Maybe 
nothing. Maybe it will go really fast. Maybe it will take a lot of time before we get everything done. We just have to figure it out. Come on, robot, please. There we go. And... Oh. Wait, wait, wait. This is the oil. So this is basically where we want... Oh! I know what we forgot. We need pump jacks. How many do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's just create those. And while they are being created, we can go and get... Oops. Get the blueprints for the railway, I think. There we, yeah, there we go. And get everything planked down to get the railway expanded just a bit. And let's just remove the trees where we need it to. Hmm. I mean, one way would be to build the station over here. But is there enough space for that? Maybe. Because then, then we can cross the uh, cross our road with uh, underground pipes. And we don't have to worry about a lot of things. Or we might have to... Yeah, let's... Build it over here and see if that works out. Or it might be that this doesn't work out. Where's the railroad? Please. I'm scrolling the road the wrong way. Or it might be that we don't have enough. Oh yeah. We don't want all of this. I just put it in place. Since it was easier to set up a station that way. Oh, we don't need these things either. Okay. So now we have to figure out how to connect this to the main railroad. But I actually don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm thinking, could we just connect it? And I think so, yes. And we have this side. And all we need to do is to separate these from each other. Let's see if we have a setup from before. Oh yeah, it's the one getting into the station. Oh, that's the one getting out. But we have to figure out which way. And we are putting those as close as possible to the rail lines. I would have made a mistake with that, definitely. Okay, so the idea is that getting into the station. But let's have a look. This seemed... Oh, it was normal signals. I thought one of them were chain signals. But yeah, with normal signals, it doesn't look strange. Let's just put another one in here. And then we put one over there. Making sure that we release this railroad as soon as the train have passed and we more or less have the station of course we don't have anything in it yet we still need to set up all of the oil stuff so let's oh this is actually quite a nice area just over here This isn't so nice, but these three, they are really nice, really easy to, uh, oh, that's not ideal. Those are really easy to set up properly. These aren't, these are. And we have all of those, what we need now is pipes. And for some reason, I didn't realize that we need pipes, we also need tanks and I think on the way up let's go and look at our our other oil outpost and see how that is built up then we can use the same ID okay 
let's have a look. Okay, so we have four tanks. Oh, we need pumps as well, of course. We have four tanks set up with two pumps per train wagon. Okay, that should be possible. And then we just lead the, uh, the oil into the tanks and that's it. Yeah, we should be able to do that, I think. Yeah, right now we're not where we want to be. Okay, we're back on the road. Yay. So let's go back. Let's grab some tanks. If we have them. Otherwise we will have to create them. And let's also add some... Some pipes. Which is possibly more important than the tanks. How are things over here? 47% still. And these are working. Yay. We act, they are actually working all the way around. So the amount of uh, rocket parts should be skyrocketing soon enough. But before that happens, let's make sure we get the, uh, the oil station built. Well, it's not that important. Oh, yeah. I was looking for the uh, for the pipes, but they are up here somewhere. Here we go. Something like that, and we don't have enough pipes. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what more? Underground pipes? Do we have that being created anywhere? Yes, we do. Okay, let's. Grab like that half stack. We do have the pumps still great. Do we have any tanks? Oh, we moved the storage over here. Tanks, tanks, tanks. Where could that be? Okay, this is rail stuff. Oh, we need rail stuff as well. Oh, oops. I kind of forgot about that. Here we should have tanks if we have any. And we don't. Fair enough. But let's grab the wooden chests. So let's create four tanks. One, two, three, four. We have the pipes. We have everything, I think. Oh, we need wagons. That's right. Two fluid wagons, and then we need two locomotives, which means we need engines or engine units. I don't know what an engine unit is, unless it's maybe if it's one engine, I could understand it, but an engine unit just seems strange to me. And the rest of the engines we put back. We don't need those walls and not the raw, raw wood. Do we have everything now? No, we don't have any fuel for the train. So let's go over here, grab just a bit of coal. Two stacks, four stacks, I think. And that's basically it. Now we just have to go out and actually build everything. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but let's, oh, let's not go that way. But let's go this way. I just want to be on this side of the, uh, of the railroad. Since I wanted to go down and have a look at the, the already existing oil train. Oh, that's not where it is. How could I make that mistake? Yeah, th this is what happens when you drive off-road. You risk getting into a lot of trouble and running into things. That robot will be able to catch up. Copy. Okay, 
that robot might not be able to catch up. Going to think about it. Actually, what we can do it better. This train will stop. Okay. So what we can do is do, 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 do. Actually, let's have a look at this train's schedule. Oil one and unload. Yeah, I think we can build the train over here. Just put it over there. We find the wagons. And we find another, another locomotive. Uh, some fuel over there. Some fuel over there. And then paste. Paste. To get the right color. And then we have to change this to oil 2, of course. Which we don't have set up. Let's see what the station name is. Rotot or something like that. It's well, it is set up, we just don't have the proper name yet. Until uh, full cargo inventory and inactivity for five seconds. And the unload is as it should be. Let's get rid of that. And you please go to automatic. Oh to oil unload to start with. Then, where did I put the car? Then everything should start working and we should get the train over to... Uh, oh, in the middle of this, the car is almost invisible. Yeah, the train should be going up, maybe refuel everything. And then it should come down and... Uh, Wait to be fueled with oil or fueled, uh, filled with oil. So all we need to do now, well, we need to do that. Oh, we can't do that. Okay. Yeah, there we go. And then we rename the station oil two. And the train is getting is getting over here. I just wanted to see how the signals are, are working. Great. So this is how the signals should be. And these signals all are green. So the some other train could go there without any problems. Okay. Now let's get all of these... Uh, all of these... Pump jacks, that's the name. All of those bound together. And then we have everything, ev everything set up. Okay, so that, we do that. If we put an underground pipe, we can still go through. That's good. Oh, but it doesn't line up at all with this. Okay. What if we do a normal pipe? Can we still get through? Yes, we can. And then we put an underground pipe up. Then we put a normal pipe up there. We go around here and then we can connect stuff either over here or over here. I don't know which one is the best. But we have these, these six pump jacks are connected. So let's get the other ones connected as well. This just needs to go down and I think it should go all the way here before we go down. Like that. We go out. Over here. Oh. Yeah, let's put it. Let's do it like that actually. And then we connect it over there. Or we could just go over here instead. Oh rotate that. Then we get it connected with fewer uh, 
fewer pipes and then we connect those and we go with that and we just need let's oh, let's do it like that and like that then we can still kind of run through everything and i think everything should be connected this let's have a look this one is connected to this one they are connected over here to this one and that one and this one is connected over here to this one okay and they are connected to that to this and to that and from over here they are connected to this over here and over here yeah it seems like everything is connected now what we need to do is put some pumps into place i think how was the power power handle over here okay it was a uh, substation no we actually have power poles so we can have power poles in between the uh, in between the wagons so let's keep it as we have it right now we want pump 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 and pump then Wait, didn't I create four tanks? Well, I don't think I did. Then I would have had uh, two more tanks. No, I didn't create any tanks. That's the thing. Come on. There we go. So now what we want is underground pipes. We need some pipes over here actually let's connect both we need some pipes over there and then we just need to go to the other side of of this road and we just want to connect this up around here i guess and let's go from the top Okay, since we have it over here already, I think we want to connect it like this instead. And then we can disconnect this one. We get the connection over here and from the bottom up here. Oh, does this? That reaches. Okay, so then we have the connection a little bit different, but still in a proper way. We just need to actually put in the corners. And everything should be technically set up, except the power. So let's add some lamps. Lamp, 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 lamp. Uh, do, 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 do. One lamp over here. And do we have some good power? Oh, there we go. Substations. One there, one here, and then we just need to find a power pole. I guess we could have the long range power poles. And now everything should be working and we should get some oil being produced. 14.7 per second, 11.9, 14.8, 19.8. Yeah, that's, I'm not saying it's good. I'm saying it's way better than what we have. And we are pumping oil into our wagons. Great, great, great. Oh, maybe we want to do one little change. Let's do that and let's get another pump in here. Just to make sure that we are pumping stuff into the tanks we are not allowing the oil to go back onto the line i think that helps out just a little bit but okay we have this train set up now now let's go back home and see what have happened to our rocket if we are lucky it have proceeded a little bit like 60 or 70 percent if we are unlucky 
it's still stuck. If we're really unlucky, everything is finished. I don't hope we are that unlucky, but uh, if we are, we just have to live with it, I guess. Oops. That's, uh, you shouldn't be driving and drinking. Of course, I'm drinking water, but you still shouldn't drink it while driving. Oh, so we have those, but we are missing the, uh, Missing the rocket control units now. And we are up to 68%. That's what I was hoping for actually. The rocket control unit. That's the one that takes processing units and speed modules. And we are out of speed modules. And we are also out of, uh, out of blue circuits as, as well. Not really. We do have blue circuits. But uh, it is being produced, meaning that we don't get a lot of green circuits going through to the to the speed module production. But we still have three uh, three assembly machines working on it, so it's not as bad as I thought. Oh, what kind of modules do we have, by the way? Efficiency, no productivity. Extra products at the cost of increased energy consumption and reduced speed. Can we use that? I don't remember if we can use that for the uh, for the speed module. I know that we can use it for the red or the blue circuit. Maybe I should create a bunch of those. Let's grab a bit of uh, a bit of plastic. The idea, of course, being that we get a little bit more stuff being produced for the same amount of stuff on the on the belt and that takes processing units okay so let's create one to start with just to see what we are actually getting where we can use it i know oh, i know we can use it over here but i don't know if we can use it for the speed modules turrets oh they like to attack me, apparently. Yeah, okay. Then attack me. I'm just gonna leave my trusted turrets to take care of it. And yeah, everything will be just great after that. Okay. More rocket control units. Oh, we do have the uh, satellite. Actually, let's. Mm -hmm. Let's just disable that by that insert by connecting it to the to the network. That makes sure that nothing will be inserted, which means we have to manually activate it again or remove the power line. Or the, uh, not the power line, the, uh, the connection to the circuit network, and then we will get the satellite inserted. That's kind of what we want, I guess. That's great, that is not great. Oh yeah, this is going to go down and create problems because we don't have enough copper. We don't have enough copper to support both blue circuits and speed modules and the low density structures. We have enough copper to support blue circuits or speed modules or the structure. So yeah, that's a little bit of a problem, but one that we should be able to handle pretty well, I guess. Let's have a look here. Okay, so I was looking, there wasn't any copper, but we are getting that to that now. Stack size 2, yeah, we shouldn't increase the stack size, I think. Oh, even if we did, it wouldn't really matter. Since we have, don't have any copper stored. 
Well, actually, let's increase the stack size to three or two. Oh, no, that's handled automatically. Let's not do anything then. Okay, but we are not able to pick up all of the copper, which is good. That just means that we get uh, a lot of, well, not a lot, of, but a bit of extra copper through the system. That is, of course, being eaten up by the by the circuits. What is using that? It's only the the yellow or the uh, the green circuits. I think these are no these ones are feeding out onto the system a bit too fast can we do anything about that oh yes we can we can change this from u to let's say w then it's way slower like a fourth of the speed or something like that which means we don't have that much uh, copper cable uh, on, on the belt and the risk of running out of it is less. Oh, but we need copper cables for the red circuits as well. How many do we need? Four? For each? Yeah, I think that's... No, not that one, this one. Stack size of two. Maybe W is not smart. Maybe we should go with V instead. Then we should get more output, but not uh, too much. Not much, not enough to actually get the problem. Oh, where's the red circuit? Oh, it's down here. We shouldn't get enough output to for it to actually create a problem. Let's see, we get a little bit of uh, copper cable and they are all being sucked up by the red circuits, which is great. That's basically what we want. We are lacking like 20 red circuits. So I think that's under control. And it seems like the blue circuits are getting under control as well. It's like 17. And then we have, oh, we actually have a few speed modules being created as well. Great. Great, great. I mean, we are not getting enough through over here. But it seems like soon enough, we will have uh, all of the blue modules we need, and then we will get a bit more green or blue circuits and then we will get more green circuits through over to the speed modules and then we can actually create what we need what about this what about the uh, solar arrays well we are still needing 31 more of those let's add oh that wasn't the problem oops Okay, let's add this full and then the electronic circuits that isn't being used by uh, by speed modules or by the blue circuits we can use for the solar panels and uh, all of the copper that we would otherwise use for this that can go through and being used to create rocket parts instead or what the about this uh, structure, low density structure, that's it. 75%, this is great. This is looking good. But how is the train? We still don't have any oil train. I thought this would fill up a little bit faster. Okay, so we are Why does this have a lot of oil in it? It shouldn't. This is full and this is almost full. It will not take, 
it will not be long before this wagon is also full and we get the oil train running back to our nice base and we get more oil into into the system and into all of the production and I was just about to say here it goes yes here it goes let's follow it oh it's kind of hard now uh, it's hard to follow it on that but we can go up and see when it arrives at least so the train should be here any minute we should see it on the map first over here there it comes turns around turns back it goes into that and we go around and put it into the station and oh i did not mean to cross oh and we have an ion train leaving oh that means we only have one ion train back uh, left that's not ideal but we have filled up these tanks and we still have a little bit of oil left in the train good then we have time to fill the oil up and we had another ion train uh, getting into the station so we are not in an ion in a ion uh, problem we don't have to worry about that how is it with petroleum gas 5.6k and 24k of light oil so currently we are not using this chemical plant to convert the uh, light oil to petroleum gas okay it's too warm today way too warm to be playing computer games or doing anything else to be honest rocket control units what are we missing oh nothing over there it's still the speed modules can i help out in doing something manually oh yes i did create oh we are creating speed modules all the way around i did create this uh, where is it i did create there it is the productivity module okay we can't add that over here so let's add it to the blue circuit production instead but we need a bunch more of those if it should do any difference two four six eight and we have one meaning seven more one two three four five six seven and i'm doing one at a time because it takes quite a lot of time to create especially the red circuits and by doing one at a time it can kind of be handled in a good way let me have a look okay the plastic okay we are filling up the plastic but i think we need a bigger chest let's replace that with a steel chest there we go now we have uh, loads of space for the plastic okay so what is the status right now green circuits okay speed modules yeah that's what we are trying to get the blue circuits well we have minus one which means it's okay and then we lose one and then we get one that's totally fine it's the speed modules and the oh structure of the spaceship okay so we have this the rocket control unit which we kind of are handling right now and then we have these ones the low density structures which takes copper which we don't have enough on the belt because it's all being used by the by the circuits which means that we will have a bunch of uh, a bunch of rocket control units store that up and then we will start doing low density structures again but we are 77 percent through so i'm i'm actually pretty happy with it not totally happy, but pretty happy with it. Okay. So what to do now? 
I mean, we could rotate this just because it's fun, but nah. I don't feel like we are adding anything in any way by doing it. I think that mostly we just have to just have to look and uh, see what is actually happening to all of our production. Oh yeah, we are missing a bit of red circuits. It's not bad, no worries. I'm just interested to see if it's because of green circuits or copper cable or maybe plastic, but I don't think it's plastic. Okay, it's because of copper cable shortage. But I actually prefer that. If we have a copper cable shortage, then uh, then we won't get the red circuits created. If we have a green circuit shortage, then we won't get the red circuits created, or the blue circuits, or the uh, speed modules. So copper cable shortage, way better. As a matter of fact, I think we have too many copper cables stored. Especially when we lowered the amount that we actually need. So let's go up and change that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, according to this, we want 2,000 copper cables. I don't see any reason we would want more than 500. So now we won't be pushing to create more copper cables. Well, we will, of course, when we need uh, green circuits. Oh yeah, do we need two and a half thousand of those? Or do we need one thousand? I think one thousand is enough. And then we will get a bit of copper through, I think. Yeah, that is what should happen. We get a bit of copper through and uh, we will get some some uh, low density structures created as well at least that's what i'm hoping for okay and we have a bit of red circuits going through, that's great, I think. I think we all, yeah, we need them over here as well. Okay, it is the green circuits that is the big problem. But we do get a bit of, uh, we do get enough red circuits going through. But if we have that much of a problem with green circuits, and we actually have a bunch of it over here. I mean, we have like 800 plus 700. We should feed them out a bit faster. You, okay. Uh, that's the problem we had before. We were feeding them out too fast, but I think we have to, oops, we have to go back to that. So let's output 1D to make these work a little bit faster. Getting the green circuits out a little bit faster and I think that will, will help out a bit. The problem is that it will also um, it will also empty out the inventory of the green circuits which means that we need more production of them so it might backfire but I don't think it will not really let's see oh yeah we get a bit more uh, speed modules as well we only lack 76 of the 100 we are requesting but now we are la we are seriously lacking red circuits because of copper cable. Okay, then we 
we are lacking the red circuits too much, I think. We need to feed out the copper cable a little bit faster. So changing that to V seemed like a good idea, but it should be U. And what is the stack size? It's 2 and 2. And over here it's 2 and... Well, this... Oops. This should be the same. Yeah, 2. And we don't... We don't have any calculation of how to set the stack size. Which... Uh, if we look at the state of the build we are in now, that's totally fine. There's definitely no reason why we should set up anything like that. Okay. Let's see. So we have... This outputs two. But yeah, we are getting a little bit more into the system that we are feeding out, which is the ID. But we are actually creating so much, uh, so much plastic that we can't get it all up with free stack, uh, yeah, free stack filter inserters, which makes sure that we have a bit of extra, uh, extra plastic when everything is done. Which isn't, I don't think it's a bad thing. Oh, but having the belt this full with stuff, that's actually a bad thing. It stops us from adding more stuff onto the belt. 80%, yay! Almost done. But with this 80%, I think that we need to go... Let's see, okay, so the... Oh, 81%. The rocket control units, we are getting that up, we are getting the rocket fuel up. Yeah, I think with the 81% and the time we have recorded in this episode, I will stop around 90% and make another last video, I guess. Filling it up completely, getting the rocket up and launching. Because it seems like this video will be a little bit too long to do all of that. Let's see, what are we lacking? We are lacking steel. Okay. Lacking and lacking. We just don't have enough steel. But I don't know if we are actually lacking it. Oh, and here we have an assembly machine running. Okay. I guess that we have more or less everything running in a pretty decent state. But it seems like on this side we don't have anything really running. Let's have a look. How many sets do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. So what if we remove 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is this running at all? Yes, a little bit. But basically not. Oh, removing 10 is hard, by the way. Because we have... I guess it's easier to remove... 2 and 2, just remove the bottom, the bottom ones. So how can we do this if we want to remove 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, yeah, we can remove everything from here and downwards. Why not? Oops. One set, two sets, three times two, four times two, and five times two. Let's remove all of this. And I know this will take a little, a little bit of time to complete. Uh, I don't want to remove that one. Thank you. 
Let's replace the green. Oh, come on. Let's replace the green circuit that I just noticed I removed. And it's still connected over here, which is basically what we want. Oh, these aren't connected. We wanted to remove those inserters as well. There we go. Now I want to get the belt going over here instead. There's really no reason to go on this long extra journey when we don't actually want this belt anymore. Oops. Okay. This is gonna be a bit of a disaster. Let's empty the belt and then we, we connect these. It's not the way I have done it before. It's not the way I prefer to do it. But right now I think it's the right way to go to do this. Okay, so now everything is running again. Of course we have backed up, but not as much as I thought. So this will be fixed pretty quickly. Let's remove all of the belts we don't need. Yeah, maybe we should uh, let the robots do their thing. And then we say we have 10 sets of, uh, of machines to create the rocket instead of 20 sets. And I think that's more than enough. Since we haven't been using the 20 sets, this should be plenty. Okay, and we have 88%. So all we are doing right now is basically waiting. And now we need, now we don't get any copper again. And it is the low density structures. We are trying to get a few more blue circuits and a bunch more speed modules created. So yeah. I guess 88%, 89%, okay, let's maybe, oh, yeah, we do have a bunch of low density structures. Oh yeah, of course, everything we have picked up that we don't really want, we should just put it back onto the belt. Oh, and we have the productivity modules. I totally forgot about those. Creating them and then forgetting about them. We don't want these things. Uh, oh, solid fuel we can get rid of. And then let's get the productivity modules into the blue circuit machines. We could upgrade this to level 2s. Or are they level 2? Assembly machine 2. They are level 2s. We could upgrade them to level 3s if we really want to, but nah, there's really no need. And this is emptying everything out. Oh, and we don't have any rocket stuff over here. And I don't think we have any rocket stuff in our inventory either. Great! 90%. And we are not creating any, any low density structures. Oh, we don't have enough speed modules. Oh, we don't have any red circuits. Why don't we have any red circuits? Because we don't have any copper cable. Because probably, yeah, we don't have enough green circuits of that matter any green circuits I would say okay never mind that will have to be a problem for the next episode which shouldn't be that that long but we are up to 91 percent and basically we are lacking uh, copper as far as I know, yeah, we all like in couple to get it up to 95 or 
actually 90 let's have a look no we are actually lacking a bit of uh, so of rocket fuel and what are they called the rocket control units as well so getting it up to like 95 percent we are lacking copper to get the rest of the way there we are lacking a few other things as well but that will be a problem for the next episode thank you so much for watching see you next time bye